Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since I've last been filming. Um, main reason for that is just oh, I've actually had a change in career, um, so which means that two weeks out of the month I'm actually on call, and yeah, it's uh, put a little bit of a uh, stress on a strain on doing coach work, but there we are. Works work, got to do what we got to do. So let's give you a bit of an update. First of all, I have finally moved from where it was, so it's no longer on grass, it's now on hard standing, and it's somewhere a bit more suited for it. Um, the outside has been stripped of its decals on the driver's side and the rear, we'll go out there and have a look in a minute, and we've taken the last of the metal down apart from the end of the lockers, which we'll go around in a sec. Um, I've started laying some underlay, but yet again, this is little bits I've been doing sort of on my on-call time. So, yeah, sometimes I get an hour here, sometimes I get two hours here, sometimes I get 15 minutes here. It just depends on when I get called out. Um, what else is there? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, uh, we're also finally running on solar. Um, it's only a, very, only a very small kit for a moment, but it's enough to power lights, charge phones, charge the odd tool here and there just to keep us going instead of having to run the generator all the time. A bit more eco-friendly as well, I suppose. And it's also free. Um, right, so we'll have a quick walk around inside and just show you what's been going on inside and then we'll take a little look outside. So, it's still an absolute pigsty in here. Um, I did have a little bit of a clear up, but not too much. So, I took this part of the locker down which was still up uh, which is down on the floor there um, the end of the locker still got to be cut uh, we're going to try and hit that in the next video uh, this is just really just a bit of an update video and to show you uh, where I'm going to be locating the solar panel system and probably locate it which part of it is down here but we'll talk through that in a minute uh, down the front here um, I've started laying some underlay albeit not the best of jobs in the world but I want to try and get the carpet down in. Oh, my little old solar panel's falling down there. Is it broken? This is just to try and keep the battery maintained. Nope. It's all right. I don't think it's actually doing anything. Um, right, so the main attraction today, and what we are going to be doing, is the solar panel setup. Um, one uh, 110 amp hour battery, one charge controller. Um, this is just showing that it does actually work. Uh, 170 watt solar panel one inverter and one light working so there we go that only takes 12 watts of power um, I've still got to read through and actually understand what this actually means all the bits on it um, but yeah it does tell me some of what I want to know um, yeah I haven't really worked out exactly what everything does but I will get like I said I will get to that so this is basically where it's got to it's just crap everywhere it's a bit clearer than what it was, but it's still a bit of a mess, to say the least. Um, yeah, so that's where we are, are inside. So that's the inside. It is just a bit brief because we're actually going to try and wire this solar panel up properly in this video and root it and screw the uh, MPT box up or MPV, PVM. I think it's a PVM. It's not. I don't think it's not an MPPT. But yeah, PWM. So I will upgrade it to an MPPT at some point. It's just at the moment cheap kit just to get some power in here because I'm fed up of hearing the generator and I don't want to upset anybody else that's sort of in the area with the generator running late at night so I can actually carry on and work. So we're going to have a look outside. Um, I'm actually going to drop some photos in of the outside so you can sort of see the progress that's been going on over the couple of weeks because I've been trying to keep up to date at least with some photos rather than a bit of video. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go and have a look outside. Um, I'm just going to keep the camera rolling for this because it's a pain to keep cutting it and chopping it. So it's a bit of a bit of a difference. Um, all right, let's turn the camera around a minute. So here we are. No longer covered up with grey cars and phone numbers and all the rest of it. It still is the same on the other side. I haven't yet got round the other side, but as you can see, it's still completely stick it up for now. Uh, polished it all as well so it's actually got quite a nice shine to it. Um, this side still needs doing because the polishing pad started to go a bit gacky. Um, as did the side here. Started to go a bit gacky and I stopped sort of where that polish line is there but I mean I don't know if you can see the difference on the camera but it is a 
hell of a difference. I'll try and stand at this angle and then come across a little bit. So you can still see where all the old grey cars was. I actually did this one. Actually, no, no, tell a lie. No, I did this locker, polished it. Uh, this piece, the door, up and over and sort of over to there. And obviously the entire back was polished apart from that little bit just on the top where the, the light goes up. Stickers have been removed off the back window. Um, the window actually just needs a deep clean, which shouldn't take too long to do. And yeah, it just looks so much different. I mean, when I stand back, you'll see it's just, you see the light on in there. <laughs> yeah, oh, seven series is back again. We'll have a talk around that at some point. I'm, I'm not gonna bother in this video, but we will show, we'll give you a grand tour of it because things have changed in there. All right, so now we're inside. Um, what I'm going to do for this video is, it's not going to be that entertaining, but um, hopefully I'm going to sort of show you what I've learned so far about solar power, um, and I'll talk through the kit and stuff that I bought, and we can, I'll tell you, we'll talk through the kit now. So, um, I basically, I, I've bought the kit from a local company, and virtually very local to me, and it's called Victron Energy. Um, blue power according to this. So this is a PWM charge controller which is the little blue thing which everything's connected to. Um, that lighting's not really doing very well for my camera is it? So the panel itself is a 170 watt panel. Um, that's obviously the charge controller that this goes into so I can charge phones, cameras, stuff like that so I've got power on the go. The little power inverter there I used to use in my car for the laptop. Um, for doing diagnostics and stuff like that. The battery I picked up off Facebook for 70 quid. Uh, it hasn't been used. It's a leisure battery. Well, I'm guessing it's a leisure battery because it seems to be working on this and the power inverter's all right and the battery's not dropping, so I'm guessing it's charging and doing everything it should do. But I am learning on the job here. So, yeah. So what I plan to do is move the controller. I'm gonna stand out the way of that light because it doesn't really look very good. There we go. So I'm going to move the controller over to uh, top of the door, uh, mainly because I want the battery not in the cab, basically, or in the living space, whatever you want to call it. Um, purely just because safety, and plus I want it out of the way so we don't keep kicking it and potentially ripping any wires out. So this is the panel still going to stay in the coach. Because as far as I'm concerned, it is charging, so I haven't got, you know, I haven't got a, uh, a concern there. And because I'm not going to be in it all day, every day, it doesn't really matter if it's inside or outside. I'm not going to get as much charge as I should, but I will mount the uh, the solar panel up on the roof. Now, it's Tuesday, a day of filming. So Saturday is when I'm going to spend the day up on the roof, if it's nice, and actually fix the, the solar panel properly to the roof and decide where the rest are going. So I've got to do some measuring and a little bits like that. So I don't think I'm going to mess about because we haven't got much daylight left and I want to get this thing sort of rigged up, powered up properly before it gets dark. So I can use some lights in here and show you what it's like at night. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna get on with it. So, time lapse.
So there we go. Um, yeah, obviously the battery's wired up. Um, as you've just seen, it's charging my phone, which is ideal. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, obviously, I've still got to wire the inverter up, but um, that shouldn't take too long to do. But um, yeah, I'm overly happy with the result of that. So uh, the coach now officially has solar, albeit it's a very small system. But it's more than ample for, like we say, we're using my lights, uh, charging my phone, charging the but the uh, cameras up, and then the other little devices I've got. So um, yeah, I think we're on to a bit of a winner there. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a short video, but I just thought you know I'd update yourselves on everything that's going on. Um, show you obviously installing the the solar panel system. Obviously, I'm not going to put the solar panel on the roof like I say till the Saturday, which I which going to be filming again. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm overly pleased with this. So uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave the video there, um, yeah, again, sorry it's short, and um, yeah, give us a like, a subscribe, do your usual, and I shall see you again in the next one where the solar panel goes up on the roof, and we'll see what other jobs we can find to do, so, see you again.